Hi all. Um, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little tutorial of Blender uh, for the Shopify 3D models. Thought I'd make a quick, uh, simple bag and then uh, upload it. It's taken me a couple of efforts, um, but I thought I'd share what uh, what the process is. Um, yeah, so basically, fire up Blender. It might be a little intimidating. Uh, it still intimidates me after 10 years of use. And uh, basically, let's just get rid of, rid of that bag. And we're going to add, let's see, a new cube. So they've moved everything around. So it used to be space belt, now that's play. Uh, control space, there's funky stuff. Um, was it shift A? Yeah, shift A. So add a cube. Now we got there. I'm going to use tab uh, to go into edit mode Z for wireframe. And uh, I'm going to rotate it to. Uh, the side and I'm just going to select all points and then I'm going to scale across the uh, Y is up technically um, I'm going to scale it across the Y and uh, go back to the front view and then I'm going to hit the C key highlight the top uh, just going to scale that down so it's a little bit more bag shaped as you can see uh, Z key got solid, got like the base of the bag there, and then uh, basically I'm going to go back into wire mesh mode, which is Z key, E for extrude, and I'm just going to make the handle. So uh, S for scale, it's like a global scale, I suppose. Not too much scale because it will narrow at the sides, as you can see. Uh, so if I go back to front view, and just going to scale it down a bit more. And then top view, and then as you can see, scale the handles in, or what's going to be the handles. And then um, you can use face select for this. And they may have moved this somewhere. So there we go, face select. Uh, delete the face there, delete the face there. So now we've got kind of what the handles will be. And then I'm going to go back to the point select. I'm using the shift key and the left button mouse to select those. I'm just going to say fill that face. And if we go back to solid, you can see I filled it. Uh, so I selected the points, press the F key. Uh, that fills the face for me and that that doesn't really matter if it's hollow or not i suppose we could make it more bag like but anyway uh so i want to select uh let's go back to wireframe front view uh click anywhere to clear the points c key for uh this little tool for selecting faces when you're in wire mesh mode that will go right through the objects and select both sides for you uh which is great uh, I'm going to extrude key as you can see I've got that so I'm then just going to scale it into say the width of the handle I'm making it snap to with the control key and then I'm going to drop those items there you see it's extruded it on the inside on these four bottom corners of the inner now because uh, they're going to form the inside of the bag and I'm literally just going to grab them down using the control key uh, to snap to then uh, I'm gonna select the face uh, just to make sure you got that uh, delete key I want to delete that face and then I want to go back to point view uh, point selector sorry and then I'm going to select the inners and then I'm just going to scroll up a bit, extrude key, drag that down, and then scale it outwards using the control key. And if I then go into solid mode, we now have the inside of the bag complete, which is pretty cool. Uh, Z key wireframe, 
because uh, I want to go back to there. Tab key to go into edit mode. So we've got all of that. Um, it's not easy to see in this this view, but on the outside I have some empty spaces here. So I'm just going to fill the outside of the handle, and uh, like so. And do the same on this side, fill, Z, and I if I go back to solid, see I've got kind of a handle going on. And then if we go back to the front view, see it's kind of handle shaped. There we go. And it does drop in the bag, it's a little wide, but yeah, it's just a quick tutorial. And if we go back to the front view, tab down Z. Uh, wireframe and I think it's control R yeah control R is like a subdivision uh, but across a line so um, you can control R you can see it puts like a, a line around it so you can control R get the line for the division you want to make and then I want to make one there and then you can move it left to right um, basically if you want it perfectly centered just uh, right button click and it should just drop it center and I basically want to uh, use that just to pinch the handle in a little um, and then grab that with a G key just to pull it up a bit and you can see we've got a sort of a handle it'll do it's not perfect I mean we could could put rope handles on it and all sorts and texture it but uh, yeah just quick and easy um, for this so we've got our bag which is all good up at the top go to UV editing as you can see I've already uh, messed around with a, a an image for this um, so uh, we need to select all points with the A key and then go to UV and I believe it's unwrap uh, da, 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 da. we got live unwrap UV uh, unwrap and unwrap it's not quite gone as I wanted so uh, we want to try that again with a smart UV project perhaps and yeah so let's just do that great <clears throat> excuse me um so we've basically got our bag unwrapped now which is uh great so these are um the different sides of the mesh in here um so let's just um let's just blank that with another image you can just put a new one in um basically in the documents it says that things shouldn't overlap it doesn't doesn't actually make too much of a difference it's it's the butted up against each other so that the color is continuous um, but that's all good so I now want to get that to a place uh, working at it so I think it is export UV layout here under the UV section um, I didn't relabel the the name, so I'm going to say bag new. Uh, it comes up as cube because the default object is a cube that we put in, and I'm just going to shove that on the desktop as bag new export. And so if we then minimize that, and we'll see bag new here, and you see the UV layout. It's in a PNG, so. Um, that's great we can use that um, basically I've opened up Adobe um, I faffed around with one of the layers so I need to put that back into there get rid of these um, so basically I started off with uh, get a shortcut key right there we go um, started off with a just a green Shopify color um, got hex code from the internet as you do and if we go back to there we just need to grab that UV export and drop it into Adobe smash the enter key so it's the top layer 
and this is where we can uh, now tinker around um, with the editing so if I just get rid of that because that's going to be confusing um, I've got bag news so I'm going to push that up to the top I've got a letter S there so basically I'm just going to get the, the move tool and of course it's going to auto select the wrong thing because that's what Adobe does uh, so let's use the shift and arrow keys so we just got a text S in there and I'll put a simple text S there that's just you know that can be anything you want really uh, I'll put it in Adobe handwriting could be any any kind of cool stuff um, so I'm just that one looks kind of nice I like that one which one was that Broadway so let's copy Broadway I could I could have duplicated that but never mind and I'll just go off Broadway again and get the move tool on that just kind of center it um, going through this a bit quick so it's not going to be not going to be perfect but that'll do I'll just give you an idea of how to texture this um, so for this next bit what I did was to create a layer mask uh, so a new layer mask and basically I just painted over it just to just to do a couple of things so black removes from mask and I want the fill bucket see if it'll do the right thing for me so I want that uh, smart object so I probably need to rasterize that and uh, never mind um, basically I'm just using the layer mask uh, to define areas so I'm just going to use this tool here uh, I do believe that's the bottom of the bag and then I'm just going to use the fill bucket okay and I'm just going to fill that with white Ugh, no I don't want to fill it with white I want to fill it with black subtract that from here from the mask and then let's just put some uh, dots on things so and just put some dots on the handles and where is that where's the brush there we go so one two three one two three some random polka dots it's not terribly uh, precise but never mind um there we go and this is this looks like the top bit here so i'm just gonna plot one there plot one there so that's that and then basically i dragged the layer mask over the layer so it subtracts it I turn off the layer mask and we get something random like this which doesn't appear that constructive but it'll be okay um export export as png and i'm gonna say patterned dash bag uh, once we've done that that's on the desktop and then go back into blender then um, I'm going to open up the uh, an, an image in here so I'm going to where's the open button gone so image open and wait for the desktop uh, where's bag pattern pattern bag open as you see it all lines up in there now and so it looks a little funky in the material editor so in materials um we we don't actually have it on the bag right now uh so z um material preview selected so it's not there going to shading uh so i've got a world applied um you can see how it reacts and things like that uh, it's just the default world uh, basically I've got the pattern bag which was this one and we've got no material there so we want a new material it puts the materials now in 
Uh, we don't want this one. Uh, we don't want that node. So remove the node and you'll see it'll go black. Then in uh, the left hand side, you'll see your image that we created with Adobe drop that in. If I just uh, zoom in a little, uh, you take your color to your surface and drop it in. And now we have our UV textured bag. Now the next bit doesn't always go right for me, but I'll give it a go. And it's a file export. And then it's the GLB file type uh, for Shopify. You see, I've done it five times just to try and show how this is done. Uh, so I'm going to say number six. So in the settings here, we have selected objects and I've left all that alone. Uh, y's plus up. Uh, basically, I'm going to apply all my modifiers. So say I had a subsurface modifier or a subdivision. It'll basically apply that um, before export. Um, makes it a simple mesh rather than a complex one with a modifier. So I understand it's been a while. Uh, UVs, that is our image uh, mapped onto it. Tangents, vertex colors, loose edges and everything. Just general tidy ups um, are done. I'll leave the compression alone or to do for my previous attempts. Animation keys and shaping and, skin, and skinning. Um, so this, this is, it is this is mainly for the 3D Maya. I've not used 3D Maya since finding Blender in like 2003 because um, it does everything. Um, but we don't need any of that for Shopify as far as I know. But um, yeah. So once we've got all those, I'm going to say it's GLB bag six. And I'm going to hit the export button. That should have exported. And we can double check if it's sort of all right. Windows does actually have a 3D viewer. As you can see, there's the bag. It's not pulled through the dots. So I'm assuming that's because it's now transparency. But we've got a simple bag with an S. And so if we then go to our web page, we can add, and I think it was GLB, uh, this version. The preview, for some reason, doesn't show it fully. Uh, it can get a little worrying and confusing. Um, then that uploads. It says media is added. Um, yeah, in the Slack channel, I might um, I might just put this model in there uh, in the blend file. Um, so we've got the uh, shopping bags there saved uh, against my test products. If I go to preview it. We've got my first attempt that didn't go quite right. Second attempt didn't quite go right. Third attempt, get in there. Fourth attempt, oh yeah, I've got uh, an S on it. And then this one. Um, so if anyone wondered how to do that with just Blender and nothing else, uh, just to get a simple demonstration of how that would work and zoom in and stuff, um, that's how you do it. Um, yeah, if this is helpful to anyone or anyone wants the files that I've just generated uh, to kind of look through, see what I've done. Uh, just, yeah, holy guy for the 3D work. <laughs> yeah, cheers.